Did you know that the ancient wisdom of Stoicism can empower us to navigate the complexities of modern life with resilience and grace? In a world filled with uncertainties and challenges, the principles embodied by remarkable figures like Portia offer invaluable lessons that resonate even today. If you want to cultivate emotional strength, foster genuine relationships, and live a life anchored in love and self-worth, you need to explore how Portia's legacy can guide you through life's ups and downs. Portia, often overshadowed by her more famous counterpart Brutus, exemplifies the very essence of Stoic resilience. Her unwavering strength in the face of adversity and her profound capacity for love teach us that our responses to life's challenges can define not only our character, but also the legacy we leave behind. As we delve into her story, you'll discover how you can apply her timeless wisdom to your own journey, transforming obstacles into opportunities for growth. Get ready to unlock the transformative power of Stoicism and carry Portia's lessons forward into your everyday life. Number 1. Proving Strength – Portia's Stoic Test We all have moments in life where we want to prove ourselves, right? Think about the first time you stood up for yourself or made a big decision that left others in awe. That little rush of pride when you did something difficult, something you weren't sure you could handle. That's a feeling many of us can relate to. And it's the same feeling Portia, the wife of Brutus, experienced in ancient Rome. Imagine this Portia loved Brutus deeply, but she also wanted to be more than just his wife. She wanted to be seen as an equal. She wanted to show him that she was capable of handling the same challenges, the same burdens that he carried. And back then, in a society where women were mostly seen as emotional and delicate, Portia decided to challenge that stereotype. In a remarkable test of her strength, she did something that might make you wince a little. She inflicted a wound upon herself. Yep, you heard that right. She purposely hurt herself. Why? Not for attention, not for drama, but to prove her mental and physical fortitude to Brutus. It worked. Brutus was amazed by her resolve and her ability to endure pain without flinching. This act wasn't just a show of physical toughness, it was a demonstration of mental strength. By enduring that pain, Portia was saying, I can handle this and I can handle whatever secrets or challenges you have. And it was that moment, right there, that convinced Brutus to confide in her about one of the most dangerous political conspiracies in Roman history, the plot to assassinate Julius Caesar. But let's step back for a second. Before you start imagining Portia as some kind of ancient thrill-seeker, consider what she was really doing here. Portia was tapping into a core principle of Stoic philosophy, voluntarily embracing discomfort to grow stronger mentally. It's something we often avoid in today's world, isn't it? We don't like discomfort. We'll turn up the heat instead of bundling up. We'll opt for convenience instead of effort and will avoid things that challenge us. But Portia understood something fundamental facing discomfort head-on makes you resilient. And that resilience? That's what gives you the strength to handle life's toughest moments. Now, think about your own life. When was the last time you willingly faced discomfort? In our modern world, where we're surrounded by technology that makes everything easier, it can be tempting to run from pain and difficulty. But what if you embraced it instead? What if, like Portia, you found ways to challenge yourself and prove to yourself, and maybe even to others, that you can handle more than they think? Number 2. Embracing Discomfort A core Stoic principle. Let's rewind for a moment, back to simpler times in life. Remember when you were a kid and would push your limits just to see how tough you were? Maybe it was climbing a tree higher than before, or daring yourself to jump into freezing cold water. As children, we often embrace discomfort without thinking too much about it. There's a sense of joy in testing our boundaries, right? It's part of growing up, 
part of figuring out who we are. But somewhere along the way, as we age, most of us start avoiding those challenges. It becomes more about seeking comfort and less about pushing limits. That brings us back to Portia. She didn't just accept discomfort, she sought it out. Her actions weren't reckless, but deliberate. Portia's act of wounding herself wasn't about showing off or proving a physical point. It was her way of embracing discomfort as a stoic. She knew that if she could withstand this self-inflicted pain, she could handle whatever hardships life, or Brutus, threw her way. This core principle of Stoicism, the willingness to endure discomfort in order to build inner strength, is timeless. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Think about that. How often do we imagine worst-case scenarios? How often do we build up situations in our minds to be so much worse than they actually are? Portia understood this on a deep level. By voluntarily putting herself through pain, she was conditioning herself to face any fear or challenge without being controlled by it. Now, how does this apply to us in today's world? We live in a time where we have more convenience than ever before. We can get groceries delivered to our doorsteps, binge watch TV shows without ever leaving our couch, and adjust the temperature in our homes without getting up. Comfort surrounds us. But with all that comfort, do you ever feel like something's missing? Do you ever wonder if you could handle adversity if it came your way? That's the crux of Stoicism. And Portia lived it. Embracing discomfort, even in small ways, can build the mental resilience we need to navigate life's unexpected challenges. It makes me think of those moments in life where we shy away from doing something hard. It could be taking on a difficult project at work, sticking with a workout routine, or even having a tough conversation with someone we care about. What if, instead of avoiding those uncomfortable moments, we leaned into them? What if we saw them as opportunities to grow stronger? Number 3. Portia's Resilience Through Life's Hardships Think about the hardest thing you've ever gone through. It could be a breakup, the loss of a loved one, or a time when you felt utterly defeated. Now imagine going through all that, but in the cutthroat, turbulent world of ancient Rome. That's the kind of life Portia led. Portia was no stranger to hardship. Her father, Cato, committed suicide, which was a traumatic loss for her. Her first husband was killed in battle, and she lived through the constant political turmoil that marked the Roman Empire. She didn't just witness these events, she lived through them, and they shaped who she was. But here's the thing, none of it broke her. In fact, it seemed to only make her stronger. Portia's story reminds us that resilience isn't something you're born with. It's something you build over time, through experience, and often through pain. We all face our own struggles, whether it's losing someone we love, facing rejection, or dealing with personal failures. And in those moments, it's easy to feel overwhelmed, like the world is crashing down around us. But Portia's life shows us that resilience is about pushing through, even when it feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. Now, here's where it gets relatable. Think back to your own experiences the tough times, the moments where you felt like giving up. How did you get through them? What helped you keep going? Maybe it was the support of a friend, or maybe it was sheer willpower. Whatever it was, that resilience is what kept you standing. And that's what Stoicism is all about, the understanding that life will throw hardship at us. But it's how we handle it that defines us. In today's world, we don't face the same kinds of political turmoil that Portia did. But we do face our own battles, whether they're internal or external. And just like Portia, we can either let those battles defeat us, or we can use them to become stronger. Take a moment to reflect on the hardest challenge you've ever faced. How did it change you? How did it shape the person you are today? It's easy to forget that our struggles are often the things that make us who we are. 
But if we embrace them the way Portia did, we might find that they're the very things that give us the strength to face whatever comes next. Number 4. Modern Applications of Stoic Resilience We've all had those moments in life where things felt impossible. Maybe it was a breakup that left you feeling shattered or the loss of a job that made you question your worth. Whatever the challenge, we know that life has its way of throwing curveballs that can knock us off our feet. But here's the thing. Just like Portia's unflinching courage in ancient Rome, we too have the capacity for resilience. And the beauty is, resilience isn't just some distant ancient concept, it's alive today, in each of us, and can be nurtured. Imagine a time when you thought you couldn't handle something, and yet you did. Maybe it was pushing through a difficult day at work, taking care of family when you were running on empty, or even just getting out of bed when the weight of the world was pressing down on you. These moments are testaments to the resilience we all carry within. And today, in a world that often feels chaotic, overwhelming, or disconnected, that resilience is more important than ever. The core of Stoicism teaches us to accept the things we cannot control and focus our energy on what we can. In modern terms, this could mean recognizing that while you can't always control your boss's demands, your partner's actions or world events, you can control how you respond. You can choose not to let that anxiety eat away at you, not to let frustration dictate your actions. This is where modern stoic resilience comes into play. Let's take a real-world example. Think about the recent challenges the world has faced, be it the pandemic, economic instability, or the pressures of navigating a fast-paced digital world. These external factors are largely out of our hands, but the way we adapt and survive is entirely in our control. The truth is, we don't always have to change the world around us sometimes. The power lies in changing how we experience it. Now, take a deep breath and think about a time when life threw something unexpected at you. A sudden loss, a missed opportunity, or even just an ordinary day that felt like it was falling apart. You might have doubted your ability to get through it, but you did. And that's because you have more strength than you give yourself credit for. That's modern stoic resilience. It's not about suppressing emotions or pretending everything's okay. It's about feeling the emotions, processing them, and still pushing forward. Imagine if we could apply this resilience to everyday situations. How would life change if we stopped worrying about things beyond our control? If we could handle stress with calm, face rejection with grace, or even look at failure as just another step towards success. The beauty of stoic resilience is that it doesn't ask you to be superhuman. It simply asks you to be present, to understand that life has challenges, and to know that within you lies the strength to overcome them. Number five. Lesson one, embrace resilience. When we talk about resilience, it's easy to romanticize it, to think of it as some magical quality that some people are just born with. But if we take a closer look, we realize that resilience is something we build, step by step, challenge by challenge. It's not about bouncing back instantly, it's about bending without breaking. And that's a lesson Portia embodies. One that's not just confined to history, but resonates with all of us today. Let's rewind for a moment. Imagine you're going through a rough patch, maybe with your career or personal life. The stress feels overwhelming, and there are moments when you want to throw in the towel. But something inside you keeps going. That's resilience at work. It's the quiet strength that keeps you moving forward when everything around you seems to be falling apart. It's the ability to face challenges head on, even when you're not sure how you'll get through them. For Portia, resilience wasn't just an option. It was a way of life. After facing the trauma of her father's death and her first husband's death, she could have easily let those experiences crush her. But she didn't. Instead, she used them to fuel her strength, to become even more resilient. 
she chose to live with courage, to endure hardship, not because it was easy, but because it made her stronger. Now think about the last time you faced a significant challenge. It might have been something small, like a tough day at work, or something bigger, like a personal loss. Whatever it was, there was probably a moment where you weren't sure if you could handle it. But somehow you did. That's resilience. And every time you face adversity and come out the other side, you build that muscle even more. But here's the thing. Resilience isn't just about surviving tough times. It's also about thriving afterward. It's about using those experiences to grow, to become more adaptable, and to find meaning in even the most challenging situations. This is where the Stoic philosophy shines. It teaches us that while we can't control what happens to us, we can control how we respond. Number six, lesson two, value, self-worth. At the core of Stoic resilience lies a deeper truth self-worth. In Portia's story, we see a woman who, despite the societal norms of ancient Rome, knew her value. She wasn't content to simply be a wife in the background. She wanted to be Brutus's equal, to share in his burdens, and to prove her strength. And that desire wasn't rooted in arrogance, it was rooted in a profound sense of self-worth. Now, let's pause for a second. Think about your own life. How often do you let the world dictate your value? Maybe it's a job that doesn't appreciate you, or a relationship where you feel taken for granted. Maybe it's society's unrealistic standards of success or beauty that make you doubt yourself. Whatever it is, it's easy to let external factors influence how we see ourselves. But just like Portia, we need to recognize our own worth. Portia didn't wait for Brutus to validate her. She took matters into her own hands and proved her strength on her own terms. She knew what she was capable of and she wasn't afraid to show it. And in doing so, she taught us an important lesson. Your worth isn't determined by what others think of you. It's determined by what you know to be true about yourself. In modern times, we're bombarded with messages that tell us we need to be more, more successful, more attractive, more everything. But Portia's story reminds us that we don't need to seek external validation to know our value. We just need to look within. True self-worth comes from understanding your own strengths, embracing your imperfections, and knowing that you are enough just as you are. So, here's a challenge for you. The next time you find yourself doubting your worth, take a page from Portia's book. Instead of looking for validation from others, remind yourself of what you're capable of. You don't need to prove yourself to anyone but yourself. And once you start seeing your own value, you'll notice that the opinions of others start to matter a lot less. Number seven. Lesson three. Love fearlessly. Love is one of those experiences that simultaneously uplifts and terrifies us. It has the capacity to make us feel like we're floating on air and at other times like we're being pulled apart. Despite the risks and uncertainties that accompany love, there is immense power in choosing to love fearlessly. But what does it truly mean to love without fear? And how can Portia's story guide us in embracing this daunting yet transformative practice in our own lives? To love fearlessly, in essence, is to dive into love wholeheartedly without letting the fear of potential pain or loss stop you from giving yourself fully to the experience. It's about being vulnerable, letting your guard down, and allowing yourself to connect deeply with another person, even though you know that love always comes with the risk of heartbreak. For many, this can be the most difficult part of love, the uncertainty of it. But there is beauty in that uncertainty because love that is held back or approached with caution, will never grow to its full potential. Portia's relationship with Brutus was marked by this fearless love. She loved him, not with trepidation or half measures, but with an intensity that demanded mutual trust, honesty and vulnerability. When she confronted him about keeping secrets from her, 
She didn't do so from a place of fear, but from a place of strength. She knew that for their relationship to thrive, it needed to be built on an unwavering foundation of trust and mutual respect. Loving fearlessly for Portia meant giving herself fully to Brutus, even though his political ambitions could have devastating consequences for both of them. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on our own experiences with love. We've all had relationships, whether romantic, familial or friendships, where we've held back out of fear. Maybe you've been hurt in the past and now you're afraid to let yourself be vulnerable again. Or perhaps you've been let down by someone you trusted, making it difficult for you to fully commit to love without reservation. But here's the thing, when we hold back in love, we rob ourselves of the full experience. Yes, there's always a risk of being hurt, but there's also the possibility of experiencing something deeply meaningful, transformative and beautiful. Think back to a time in your life when you loved someone without hesitation. Maybe it was your first love, or perhaps it was a time when you felt deeply connected to a friend or family member. In those moments, you likely weren't thinking about what could go wrong. You weren't preoccupied with protecting yourself from potential pain. You were simply living in the moment, allowing love to fill your heart and guide your actions. That's the essence of fearless love. It's about being present in the relationship, fully committing yourself to the other person and trusting that no matter what happens, the experience of loving deeply is worth the risk. Number eight, applying Portia's lessons to modern relationships. Relationships in the modern world are both a source of immense joy and profound frustration. With the rise of digital communication, social media, and an increasingly fast-paced lifestyle, maintaining meaningful connections with others has become both easier and more complex than ever before. We find ourselves constantly connected to one another through screens, yet often feeling more disconnected than ever. Portia's life and her stoic approach to love trust and resilience offer valuable lessons that can help us navigate the intricacies of modern relationships. These timeless lessons can help us deepen our connections with others, strengthen our sense of self-worth within relationships and embrace the challenges that inevitably arise. One of the key challenges in modern relationships is the fear of vulnerability. In a world where image often takes precedence over authenticity, many of us are afraid to show our true selves. We worry about being judged, rejected or misunderstood. We fear that if we reveal too much of ourselves, our insecurities, our doubts, our imperfections, we will be deemed unworthy of love. This fear of vulnerability can lead us to build walls around our hearts making it difficult to form deep, meaningful connections with others. Portia's relationship with Brutus provides a powerful example of the importance of vulnerability in relationships. She wasn't afraid to confront Brutus when she felt he was keeping secrets from her. She didn't shy away from expressing her feelings, even when it was uncomfortable. And in doing so, she created a space for deeper trust and intimacy within their relationship. In today's world, applying Portia's lesson of vulnerability means being willing to have those difficult conversations with our partners, friends, or family members. It means being honest about our feelings, our needs, and our fears. It means showing up fully in our relationships, even when it feels risky. And while vulnerability may expose us to the possibility of rejection or hurt, it also opens the door to deeper connection and understanding. Another challenge in modern relationships is the pressure to maintain an image of perfection. Social media has created a culture where we are constantly comparing our relationships to the curated versions of love and happiness we see online. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy as we measure our own experiences against unrealistic standards. But Portia's story reminds us that true love isn't about perfection. It's about embracing the imperfections of both ourselves and our partners and finding strength in those imperfections. 
Real love is messy, complex, and full of challenges. It's not about finding someone who checks all the boxes or fits a certain mold. It's about building a relationship based on mutual respect, trust, and understanding. Number 9. Carrying Portia's Legacy Forward. Portia, a figure woven into the rich tapestry of Stoic philosophy, embodies resilience, love, and unwavering strength. Her life story resonates through the ages, offering lessons that transcend time and cultural shifts. Yet, the question remains, how can we carry Portia's legacy forward in our own lives, particularly in a world that often feels chaotic and unpredictable? How can we embody the stoic principles she so fiercely embraced, and how do we ensure that her strength and wisdom continue to inspire future generations? At its core, carrying Portia's legacy forward begins with self-awareness and intention. It means actively reflecting on the values she represented and choosing to embody those values in our daily lives. Each of us has the power to be a beacon of resilience, kindness and fearlessness, even in the face of adversity. In a world that often pushes us towards cynicism, embracing Portia's principles offers a counterbalance, a reminder that we have the capacity to rise above challenges and inspire those around us. Imagine a world where everyone embraced resilience as a core value. When faced with hardship, instead of succumbing to despair or bitterness, we choose to confront our challenges with courage and determination. This is precisely the legacy Portia left behind. When her beloved Brutus faced insurmountable odds, she stood by him, not as a passive supporter, but as an active participant in his journey. She encouraged him to be true to himself, showcasing that resilience isn't just about enduring difficulties, it's about confronting them head-on and emerging stronger. As we navigate our personal struggles, we must remember Portia's example. Whether we're grappling with professional setbacks, health issues, or relationship challenges, we can draw strength from her story. We can ask ourselves, how would Portia respond in this situation? Would she allow herself to be defeated by circumstances, or would she rise to the occasion with courage and tenacity? By channeling Portia's spirit, we can cultivate resilience within ourselves, transforming our adversities into opportunities for growth. In addition to resilience, Portia's legacy encourages us to prioritize love fearlessly. In our increasingly interconnected world, where social media often creates a facade of connection while isolating us, we can choose to forge genuine relationships. Carrying Portia's legacy means embracing vulnerability and expressing our love openly. It's about being authentic in our interactions, not shying away from difficult conversations or emotional transparency. Consider how often we hold back in our relationships out of fear, fear of rejection, fear of judgment, or fear of being misunderstood. Portia teaches us that love, in its purest form, requires vulnerability. To honor her legacy, we must embrace the idea that true connection comes from being real with ourselves and others. By choosing to love fearlessly, we create a ripple effect that encourages those around us to do the same, ultimately fostering a culture of open-heartedness and acceptance. Number 10. Living by Stoic Principles Portia's Lasting Legacy Living by Stoic principles is not just an intellectual exercise, it's a way of life that can transform how we perceive and navigate the world around us. Portia's story serves as a powerful reminder of the profound impact that Stoicism can have on our lives. Her unwavering commitment to resilience, love and self-worth offers us a blueprint for navigating the complexities of modern existence. But what does it truly mean to live by Stoic principles in today's world? And how can we ensure that Portia's legacy continues to inspire us and those who come after us? At its essence, Stoicism is about understanding the distinction between what is within our control and what is not. 
It invites us to focus our energy on the things we can influence while accepting those we cannot change. Portia exemplified this principle in her life. Despite the tumultuous circumstances surrounding her and Brutus, she remained steadfast in her commitment to love and support him. She didn't dwell on the chaos of the political landscape. Instead, she chose to focus on her relationship, grounding herself in the values she held dear. To live by stoic principles, we must also embrace the idea of emotional resilience. Life is filled with ups and downs, and how we respond to adversity defines our character. Portia faced challenges with grace and courage, showing us that resilience isn't just about enduring hardships, it's about growing stronger through them. In our own lives, we can cultivate emotional resilience by reframing our perspectives and choosing to see obstacles as opportunities for growth. Imagine a time when you faced a significant challenge Perhaps it was a difficult breakup, a job loss, or a health scare. How did you respond? Did you allow yourself to be consumed by negative emotions? Or did you find a way to rise above the situation? Living by stoic principles means acknowledging our emotions, but not letting them dictate our actions. It's about recognizing that while we may not have control over external circumstances, we do have control over how we choose to respond. One of the most impactful Stoic practices is the cultivation of gratitude. Gratitude allows us to shift our focus from what we lack to what we have, fostering a sense of abundance in our lives. Portia's unwavering love for Brutus was rooted in gratitude for their connection, even in the face of adversity. When we practice gratitude, we create a mindset that encourages resilience and contentment. Incorporating gratitude into our daily routines can be as simple as keeping a gratitude journal where we reflect on the things we appreciate each day. By acknowledging the positive aspects of our lives, we can combat feelings of negativity and cultivate a more optimistic outlook. Portia's legacy reminds us that even in challenging times, there is always something to be grateful for. Moreover, living by stoic principles requires us to embrace discomfort and uncertainty. In a society that often prioritizes comfort and predictability, this can be a daunting task. Yet, just as Portia embraced the discomfort of her situation, we too must be willing to step outside our comfort zones. It's through discomfort that we learn grow and discover our true potential. Consider how often we avoid difficult conversations or shy away from taking risks out of fear. Living by stoic principles means recognizing that discomfort is a natural part of life. Instead of avoiding it, we can lean into it, knowing that growth often occurs on the other side of discomfort. When we confront our fears and take bold steps forward, we embody the courage that Portia exemplified. Portia's legacy also calls us to practice self-reflection and mindfulness. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to become reactive, allowing external influences to dictate our emotions and decisions. However, Portia's life encourages us to slow down and cultivate self-awareness. By taking the time to reflect on our thoughts, feelings and actions, we gain insight into ourselves and our motivations. As we wrap up this exploration of Portia's remarkable life and her embodiment of stoic principles, I want to hear from you. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've made it this far. This simple act shows you're among the rare few, just 0.01%, who truly finish what they start. Your commitment to personal growth is inspiring and it speaks volumes about your dedication to making positive changes in your life. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing the wisdom of the past, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Join our community where we dive deep into timeless lessons and empower each other to live with resilience, integrity and purpose. Let's embark on this journey together and remember, Every small step you take today 
paves the way for a brighter tomorrow.